Hey, today with the GIMP editor I want to show you how to combine images. And uh, first thing I'm going to I've got here is a left hand and I'm going to show you how to combine images in a couple different ways. Uh, the first way is going to be in a sort of panoramic way so that if you have multiple images you can take them and put them side by side. All right, let's open up our right hand here. And okay, so now we can see we've got our left hand image and our right hand image. Uh, we want to put them into the same frame, so go to edit on the right hand, copy, go to the left hand, edit, paste. All right, now the left, the right hand is now covering up the left hand. Um, what we need to do is we need since we pasted in this image onto the other one uh, what we gotta do is we're gonna create a new layer for the right hand here we can see our layers dialog you can open this at any time by pressing control L and uh, the new the right hand is says floating layer and the left hand is marked as the original background okay I can click click here to change the right hand to a, its own new layer and now it should say pasted layer alright we're gonna click our move tool and we're gonna move the right hand over uh, to beside the left hand I'm gonna use the control key to make sure it goes in a straight line here across from the our left hand and let go okay and we have sort of a problem because the right hand has went off the canvas now that's easily solved by just going to image fit canvas to layers and the canvas will automatically expand to as many layers as you have you can use this to get a panoramic portrait of a scene by combining multiple images across a long field Anytime after the right hand has been pasted, uh, it can be closed out on the second window. We don't need that anymore. To, whenever you're ready to save any image, you'll always want to merge all layers. Merge down. And then you can save that as a PNG or JPEG image. Next, I'm going to combine one more image into this uh, in a tattoo-like fashion. I'm going to put a little smiley face on the back of the left hand here. So let me open up the smiley face file open. Here we have my smiley. Click open. Alright. And edit. Copy. Go to the hand image, edit, paste. All right, and I can X out the smiley face second image. Now again, I have the floating selection for the smiley, so I need to click on create new layer. And now it has made a new layer for the smiley face. All right, and I want to place the smiley face as a tattoo sort of right here immediately you'll notice that I have this white blocky area around the smiley face I want to get rid of that so to do that I want to make it transparent I want to make all the white in this transparent if you do not have transparency in a layer this occurs occasionally and you need transparency you can simply go to layer transparency add alpha channel because it is grayed out, my smiley already has transparency available to it. It already has an alpha channel. So the easiest way for me to cut out the white on this smiley is to use the select by color tool. And I'm going to set the threshold to 50 and make my selection. Now I'm going to go to edit, cut, and the white has been cut out. And I'm going to go to select, none. 
and I'm going to change the opacity of the smiley face down to 50% and merge it down and now I have left and right hands and the left hand looks like it sort of has a smiley face tattoo on the back alright thanks for watching